Hi hey everybody, welcome to my very first review of a Visual Studio Code extension. Uh, for this first review, I'm going to be talking about a really simple one, but one that's really darn nice to have, and that is Output Colorizer. Now, I want to start off by saying that the author of this, Andy Trice, is a friend of mine, so uh, you know, it may not be a fair review, but I honestly do like it. I thought it was, it was a great extension to start off with in terms of uh, hopefully many reviews I'll be doing over the next couple of weeks. So let me show you an example of this. Like I said, it's pretty simple, so this won't take long, but it's a really nice thing to add to Visual Studio Code. So I have the extension installed and uh, if you're looking for it, the easiest way to look for it is to search for a colorizer. And you can see it's the first one there with 11,000 downloads. That's really freaking good. And what it's going to do is it's going to output, I'm sorry, it's going to colorize various different outputs as well as log files. So let's look at an example of that. I'm going to go to the Git tab and say show Git output. And you can see, here it is, and it's been colorized to make it a bit more readable. So, like I said, it's simple, but it looks nice. I have another window here where I have the plugin turned off, and you can see how this is a bit harder to read, everything gets a bit lost, uh, and it's just not quite as nice. At the same time, uh, it will also work with .log files. So here's an example of, again, with it being turned off, and not a very long log file, but you can imagine if this were a full page of uh, text and it would be kind of hard to read. And if we look at it with it turned on, and I know I have a file here somewhere right there. Boom, you can see uh, it is enhanced. It is uh, a bit nicer to look at. So again, that's pretty much it. Uh, and definitely uh, it will uh, modify multiple different things in the output panel. I'm just showing Git here because it's simpler. Uh, as an example, I could use one of the OpenWhisk things like Action List, and you can see how the output is colorized as well. And this entire portion here is supposed to be colorized. I'm thinking that the space here kind of breaks it. I've already filed a bug report for that. Uh, but again, it's Small, simple, but really, really nice. Definitely check it out.